Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. Do you have trouble making friends? Would you say that you're socially awkward? Well, you've come to the right place, my friend, because if you're looking for help on making friends, Psych2Go has some tips for you. Here is how you can make some friends when you're socially awkward. Number one, start talking to strangers. Do strangers intimidate you? Or maybe you simply have no desire to talk to any of them. You don't know them after all. How would you know if you like them? But in most cases, friendships are started by simply uttering this one word, hello. The word is hello. Obviously you must be thinking it's not as easy as that and it isn't always. But the more you get used to randomly saying hello to those near you or those who make eye contact with you, the easier you'll get used to social interactions with strangers. Tomorrow, it might be a simple hello. The next week, you ask them how they are or if that book they're reading is any good. Maybe you compliment them. Even better, this will ease you into social interactions. The simple hello, pleasantries, small talk, and then genuinely interesting conversations, let's hope. Next time you see someone beautiful, or maybe they're wearing a nice outfit, compliment them. Or maybe they're great at a particular skill, compliment them. Maybe they're simply so kind you can't help but tell them that they put you in a better mood. Gotta start somewhere. Genuine compliments are the way to go. Number two. Start up a conversation with those who intrigue you. Okay, so you've been engaging in small talk with strangers a bit more, but you're still friendless. Well, try starting a conversation with someone who intrigues you and discuss what it is about them that intrigues you. As long as it's not anything weird, they may just wanna know more. This isn't to say it should be the first thing you bring up, but after talking with them a bit, mention what it is you appreciate about them. Wow, I love how passionate you are about painting or I'm so intrigued by your theories on llamas, tell me more. Odds are they won't be discussing llama theories with you, but hey, you get the idea. If something drew you to them, maybe you have something in common. Find out what you do have in common and discuss your shared passions. People generally get excited to discuss things they love, so you'll both seem more approachable and friendly when you discuss the things you both love. Number three, awkward moments are bound to happen. Do you dread the inevitable awkward silence that comes along with most conversations? Well, it's bound to happen, people. Instead of panicking, embrace the silence. <laughs> Easier said than done, right? Yeah, but you have to push through the silence sometimes. Ask yourself, is this silence really that awkward? Or is it just a few seconds of, well, silence? Go ahead and smile at the silence or simply take a deep breath and move on in topic. You may say, by the way, this reminds me of, or totally random, but lately I've been thinking about, or simply ask them a new question. Just relax. And the change in topic or silence won't be as awkward. And if it is, it's totally fine to feel a bit awkward, but try to accept this. You'll recover. You can, I believe in you. Number four, be around those who have the same values, hobbies, or passions as you. Do you want friends? Well, you may need something easy to talk about for starters. So try engaging with others who share some same hobbies and passions as you. Remember finding something in common? Well, how can you find these people? Try to join a club focused on a passion of yours or attend events focused on your favorite hobby. In a chess lately? Join a chess club. Love sketching? Try a painting class to find other artists like yourself. Not only will you meet more artists, you'll learn to paint as well. Having similar hobbies or interests with someone will make it easier to strike up conversation with them. So it's a great start. Number five, pretend you're an extrovert at first and tell yourself you're just saying a few words. Do you really struggle with approaching others and striking a conversation? While you should always be yourself, it could be a good idea to try to get in the mindset that you're actually extremely extroverted. Say so what? No don't actually claim to be an extrovert when you talk to them, but simply let go of the belief that you struggle talking to others before you approach them. When you struggle socializing with others, it's likely all you're thinking about before you engage in conversation with them. Those silences, you're thinking about how you're not the best at socializing. Those moments of hesitation before you approach someone, you're playing out scenarios of what could go wrong. So simply let go of that idea and pretend you're used to talking to others when you approach them. In fact, you love it. Still talk about what you like and who you are and admit you are an introvert if you are one and the time comes. The important thing is starting the conversation and you may just need to change your mindset for a moment to 
break that barrier of fear or awkwardness. And number six, if you're invited somewhere, say yes. So you happen to know a few acquaintances and all is going well. One day, someone invites you to a party of theirs. Before you answer, you hesitate. Wait a second, you think, I hate parties. You start compiling a list of excuses, some real, some imaginary. I'm not feeling too well. I have homework to do. I have to walk my dog. My mom's making lasagna tonight. Oh, lasagna does sound good, but lasagna doesn't matter anymore. You may not feel like making friends when they ask you, but you know later you may wonder how the party would have been if you went and you may hold on to some feelings of regret. Yes, they may pass with due time, but you may still want a friend or two in the future. So say yes, even if it means reassuring yourself that you can leave at any time. You can, so why not show up and see how it goes? Strike up a few conversations, let others know you simply don't know anyone here besides the host. They'll often be inclined to talk to you more, make you feel comfortable and get to know you. Say yes to any fun invitation you get from a friendly acquaintance or friend, unless they're offering you candy. It's not even Halloween. And remember, probably the most important tip of all, your mom's lasagna can wait. It can wait. <laughs> so will you use any of these tips? Will you embrace your social awkwardness and in turn gain confidence because of this? And in turn, possibly have an easier time making friends? Will you attempt to overcome the social awkwardness Embrace the silence, my friends. Embrace the silence. See, we're already friends. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend or acquaintance. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. And as always, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.